Hey everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations, and spooky season is right around the corner, but I created a project that's perfect for Sean all year long, because I hear all the time he is always forgetting to text people back. So this I Goes People is perfect. And don't worry, even when we're in the dark, people will know Sean Ghost People. Let's go and create this project. Start by grabbing your favorite shirt and two squeegees, transfer tape, baby wipes, ink in both bright white and glow in the dark, the Ghost People transfer, and our ink mat. Now the ink mat, go and remove the cover and set that to the side and grab your shirt. The ink mat will protect your shirt from ink going from the front to the back. I just curl it up like a burrito, put it in the shirt, and then remove all of the wrinkles. You wanna make sure the shirt is nice, flat, and affixed to that mat. Also, grab a lint roller, get all of those pesky little dog hairs off. If not, they'll be part of your design. Next, grab the Ghost People transfer. I just use my fingers for the spacing between the neck. And then once it is all affixed, I'm gonna grab some transfer tape. Now, the reason I do this is you can see it between the bats and the edge. It is a very small area and you do not wanna get ink on the shirt. So just put some transfer tape, it gives you a little insurance. I also have baby wipes ready to go. So if I do get some of this bright white paste on my fingers, I can clean my fingers so I do not contaminate the rest of the shirt. We're going to put an ample amount of bright white paste on the shirt, remove the excess, put it back into the jar, and I like to make sure I have a nice, even uh, amount of our ink on there. We're gonna remove that tape and then do my favorite part, which is the peel and reveal. I absolutely adore the way this turned out. Now, you could heat set this in between the next layer, but I just use a hair dryer until it is dry to the touch. And then after cleaning the transfer, I'm going to place it right back over. And now we can grab our glow in the dark ink. That's right, we have ink now. I'm gonna put a little bit of transfer tape on there and I'm going to put a nice even amount of the glow in the dark ink over that dried white ink. Once again, we can remove the access and put it right back in the jar and do the same thing. Check our fingers, make sure there's no ink on there. If there is, use the baby wipe, peel and reveal. And I'm gonna dry it again to where it is dry to the touch. Now I tested it and I wanted it to be a little bit more bright on the glow in the dark. So I'm gonna do one more layer of the glow in the dark ink. So once again, I just clean and dry my transfer. I'm gonna line it up and I'm going to put a pretty good amount of the ink on, remove the excess and clean my fingers, do the peel and reveal. Now, a great thing is, is we have the Watts of Love lights. So go ahead and shine that all over your glow in the dark and then turn off the lights and see how bright it's going to be. This way you know if you wanna add more or not. Now we can go ahead and prepare to heat set. So we wanna take out that ink mat. We don't want to heat that ink mat. And then I'm gonna use my Easy Press. You can use an iron as well. What I do is I use parchment paper and I set my Easy Press between 305 and 320 for 30 seconds. Once you've done 30 seconds, remove your Easy Press. Go ahead and let it cool down a bit and check for stickiness. If your ink is still sticky, I recommend doing another 30 seconds until it feels nice and smooth. And just like that, the shirt's done. I'm obsessed with the way it turned out and how this glow in the dark ink pops. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a good day.